So welcome to this video and the story so far is I have a loft and as you can see said loft is full of junk and instead of being full of junk I want a slot car track in there or I want to build a scale extra track so we're at the planning stage first things first all of this junk's got to go and that's going to take forever but then once all that junk's gone the next question is what sort of track do I build wow the space we've got to play with is approximately nine foot across by seven foot deep uh, I want it to be an L shape so I can easily get to all parts of the track and I can still use other parts of the loft if I need to so it needs to be L shaped I want it to be fairly realistic I want there to be loads of scenery different things happening and I don't want it to be just a plain racetrack because with a plain racetrack to me there's not a lot of opportunity to actually uh, introduce different elements um, I mean most racetrack models that you see is just sort of green grass with a track going around a few pit buildings and that's about all you can do really because you can't exactly put a house at the side of a Formula 1 racing track which then led to me thinking well in what scenario can you have a racing track and have houses and have buildings to add that extra element of um, scenery and realism and I thought aha Monaco and Monaco is an owl shape so it's that dog leg shape it's an owl shape that would fit perfectly into the space that I've got there in the loft it's a street racing track so as well as having um, race elements you could have houses and people doing things other than watching a race so haha tick to box so looking on Google Maps I worked out that roughly from this point here to the far end of the hotel at Monaco is roughly 500 meters and from that point there down to the end of the Raskas Bend is also roughly 500 meters so if you were to do a scale model of Monaco to scale at 132 scale those 500 meters would need to be 15 meters so my loft would need to be 15 meters in this direction and 15 meters in that direction so obviously that's not possible um, so a scale model of Monaco is out of the question so if we look at Monaco what what makes Monaco so Monaco like I said it's owl shaped so the track needs to be owl shaped that's that says Monaco uh, you have an elevation and you have another slightly less elevation uh, you have an extremely famous hairpin and then you have a sweeping bend that goes underneath this hotel it's a tunnel comes out this side and then further down here you have a chicane and then you go round to the pool another chicane and then Raskas Bend back up where the start is and the pit lanes are in the middle um, so I thought okay we need to take some of these elements put it into that L shape that I've got and see if we can create a Monaco themed or Monaco inspired layout instead of a scale replica of Monaco because that's just not possible so 
this is the space I've got to play with and this is what I come up with so we have the two straights now this back one is going to be elevated going up which is going to swoop around to this hairpin bend which is also going to be elevated and then it's going to go down hill just like in the real track here and then further downhill here until you're back at baseboard level and then this is going to swoop around here can make a tunnel here for the cars to go through back along this straight through a chicane down now i haven't got the space to put in a chicane where the pool is and i haven't got space to then tuck it back in and then do another bend at the end so i've sort of merged i've merged these two into what i've basically taken this bit out and merged that into that and then back round like so and then also on the actual proper track you'll notice that the straight then bends up round by casino and then to the hairpin well in my loft this is going to be a loft wall down here and a loft wall along here so we can't I haven't got the space to then create that extra bend here so that's got to go so on the plans we've taken that bend out and we've just put one long straight in which then blends in to the hairpin so in terms of scenery uh, if we look at the real thing uh, you've got the hairpin bend which is elevated and then drops down so oh, no wrong one so we can reproduce that here uh, in real life there is a lot of greenery trees here so that can be replicated in this middle bit here uh, there is hotel buildings so you know they might not be the exact hotel or the exact buildings but I can put some buildings in there similar we can put a tunnel here similar to this the buildings that I build on top of it might not look quite like that but I can try and construct something similar along there then we have the straight and then back to the real world let's turn the compass around wrong way we have grandstands grandstand here grandstand there pit lane more grandstands here so in my version i can have um, grandstands here i can have pit lane buildings here grandstand here grandstand here um, and then of course along the back we can have more buildings more more buildings and brickwork in the middle um, and at the front I, I can cut the baseboard out so it cuts in a bit snugger to the track and then we could have a harbour we could have boats um, all sorts of trees along the front there so there's lots and lots of scenery aspects and scenery opportunities to add into the track and make it look more realistic and more more visually more going on than just green grass with a track going around and some pit lane buildings uh, i want it to be interesting to look at as well as fun to blast a car around so that is the grand plan and uh let me show you how far i've got so after managing to clear most of the junk out of the loft or as you can see from the photo hiding it in another section of the loft <clears throat> uh, 
I managed to get some track down. Now this track is, if, if you've watched any of my other videos, I've bought loads of secondhand kits um, just to get a load of track. And it's pretty ropey. Uh, it's the first time it came out of the box and I just slammed it down on the ground just to see if the track idea that I had would actually work. So um, as you can see, it did. So at the back there, we've got a bit of a slight elevation and then it comes around to the hairpin, drops down, comes around the front to what will be the tunnel. And then you've got the straight, a chicane and through the chicane down, swoop back up and then back up to that rear straight. So that's good. I know that the track will fit. Um, all I've got to do now is build a baseboard uh, up at sort of waist height and the problem I'm going to have with that is this wooden beam here that is holding my roof up so I can't do anything about that at all I can't remove it can't move it it is there um, the track works down at floor level but I, I fear that once we're up at sort of waist level then this beam is probably going to get in the way so I might have to shift the track forwards so um, so the track goes in front of it and the rear track goes behind or perhaps extend it make it a bit longer at the sides so it so the back goes underneath this piece of wood and then the front swoops in front of it I don't know I won't until I actually start building a table a table and baseboard to put this track on that's when I'm going to sort of think about that problem again um, so yeah please don't think I've put all this planning into creating a track and, and this is it I've just thrown it down on the floor of the loft this was literally just to see if the idea in my head actually worked in place on the actual floor um so yeah that's the idea i'm going to document it as i go along on my youtube channel so if you want to see how things turn out then like and subscribe and do all those youtubey things um and now to end the video i just basically run a few of the cars that came with this batch of secondhand scale electrics around the track the track is absolutely filthy um, it's not seen the light of day for at least two years uh, the cars are in a terrible state they've not been run for over two years apparently um, they need cleaning they need servicing and the ones that did actually run were as noisy as hell but anyway just uh, I'll put some videos up because no doubt you'd want to see it so thanks for watching